Hello guys, my name is Edison and uh, today I'll be showing you how to program a uh, nuclear board STM32F446RE using STM32Cube IDE and the first project that we shall be doing is a uh, uh, blinking the LED connected to pin 5 of GPIO port A and uh, we shall come here and uh, create a new STM32 project then you select the board uh, which I'm using in my case I'm using Nucleo F446 uh, you can select the board that you have then the project uh, name uh, it's a uh, first okay blinky project project one then you leave the rest in your default mode and you say finish then you can initialize all the peripherals and you wait for device configuration tool and uh Uh, nuclear nuclear board uh, you have to make sure that uh, it is connected to your machine uh, when you shall be downloading the board and uh, this shows our chipset you can see that this is STM-2 M446RE and uh, you can see that uh, you have been PA1, PA2, PA3, PA4, PA5 and uh, this the, the color green shows that uh, our pin is activated and it can be used but uh, since we are not going to use it, the use at we are going to deactivate this and uh, uh, we shall be left with uh, PA5 which is connected to our L LED, the green LED on the board. So we are going to blink, write a C code, uh, which will blink this LED uh, at a frequency of one half. And uh, you come here and you generate the code. So this will take uh, several seconds. Uh, and see PA10. There is PC, there is PB. This shows that we have different port, and uh, there we have port A, port B, port C. Mm. Uh, yeah. So we come here uh, to call. We go to source. You go to the main dot C. This is where you write. You write your code. This is at the, the header. Uh, and uh, you come here to the main function you shall have the hard init uh, function which is used to reset our peripherals and initialize the flash interface and the system tree and then you have the this function which uh, initializes all configured peripherals so you come here this way you shall write a uh, code and uh, stm cube uses the hard library uh so we shall be using hal in this and uh, the way to do this is hal is to begin with her and uh, for us to achieve a uh, uh, blinking led we shall have to set the pin high and delay it for some second then you reset the pin and also delay for some second so the first is setting the pin high so hal g e i o uh, right pin so you can use a control space bar to autocomplete the function and this function takes three parameters that is gpio x uh, the x stand for that uh, you can have the gpio port from port a gpio b gpio c and since we are using GPIO, uh, we are using port A, we shall have GPIO A. And then the GPIO pin 
we are using his GPIO pin 5 and uh, the pin state you have to set this pin high GPIO pin set then you delay uh, delay delay you delay this for a thousand uh, microsecond that is one second then uh, you reset the pin GPIO you write to the pin you want to write uh, uh, zero to the pin so that you can set it low and then you can uh, press control spacebar to, to complete that and the function also takes three parameters and since we are using port A we shall do that and GPIO uh, pin 5 and we are resetting the pin now so it's GPIO pin reset so then we delay delay you delay for a thousand microsecond and then here we are so you come here to project then you build your you build your project you can see that uh, the project is uh, building here down so this will just take a few minutes you have zero errors and zero warnings and uh, if your board is connected when you come here to debuggers it will appear here stm-2 cortex m and you debug as that so you just say okay So this is take second and boom there we are so you run our code you resume and you can see that uh, from, from the board after we downloaded our code you can see that it is blinking at a frequency of around one that is after every one second and uh, boom that is how you created your first project thank you see you in the next tutorial